finally official after a long, long wait that it's going to be Rahul Gandhi from Raibareli who takes over the baton from his mother, Sonia Gandhi, who has shifted from this constituency as a Rajya Sabha member. Sonia Gandhi has been an MP from here from 2004 onwards and finally opted out this time round. But what a kind of a twist and turn and many controversies. The inside story, of course, is that Rahul Gandhi never really wanted to contest from either of these two seats in Uttar Pradesh. He consistently maintained the line that I don't want to give up on Wayanad. I have nurtured Wayanad and most importantly, with Kerala elections round the corner, the Congress doesn't want to take that choice. But then there was pressure which came on him, both from his mother, Sonia Gandhi, as well as from the Congress president, that you cannot give up on these two so-called family bastions because it's going to send out a wrong message across UP and also across the country. You're going to be called a coward. Unfortunately for the Gandhis, this is a tag which may still be attached to them because that's what the BJP is going to keep on talking about, that he ran away from Amethi. Well, Rahul Gandhi is taking over from the legacy of Indira Gandhi and then, of course, Sonia Gandhi. Mostly, it has been held by the Congress Party, except in 1977 and also in 1998 uh, and 96. There have been members of the Congress Party who are not really the Gandhi Parivar who have been MPs from here, whether it was Arun Nehru, whether it was Captain Satish Sharma from Amethi. But the larger message which it sends out is that is Rahul Gandhi playing it safe still? Because in Raibareli, there is no strong contender yet. However, the BJP has put up Dinesh Pratap Singh. He's a minister in the Yogi government. He's an MLC. And he also is someone who took on Sonia Gandhi and had also given her almost a smashing challenge. And her winning margin had come down substantially. So he's not going to be any walkover. It may not be an easy challenge uh, fight for Rahul Gandhi over here. There are very few days now left to go for voting to take place. So the Congress leadership will now have to work overtime as far as Raibareli is concerned. But skipping Amethi where he's been an MP, where he lost in 2019, and the area he has called his home, sends out a larger message that a man who says that Daromat himself ran away, that's the BJP's messaging over here. It makes things much, much easier for Smriti Irani, who actually won in 2019 on the ground that Rahul Gandhi ran away to Wayanad. The BJP is not going to let Rahul Gandhi forget this. In fact, the Prime Minister is expected to keep on the attack on Rahul Gandhi. Of course, Rahul, as a main star campaigner of the Congress Party, may not have much time to campaign from here, which is why his sister Priyanka Gandhi Vadra will take over. Priyanka has, in fact, spent more time in Raibareli than Rahul Gandhi has. She used to manage her mother's affairs. More than that, she set up many women's self-help groups. The reason why Rahul Gandhi had to or forced to contest from here is because in a state where the Congress is almost wiped out, where in the backdrop of the Pran Pratishtha, the Congress is looking as being anti-Hindu or anti-UP and the perception has built up that it is a party which only focuses on South and actually has only a residence there, giving up on the critically important state of UP was just going to be politically suicidal, which is why Rahul Gandhi had to bend to the wishes and fight. But is this going to be a real fight? Is the problem and challenges over for the Congress party in UP? And what does it do for the image of the Gandhis and of Rahul Gandhi?